Hey guys, it's Battle Productions. Welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle against Kotsos, if that's how you pronounce it. I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyways, this is an OE match, and uh, basically, well, this was a pretty good match. Uh, there was one place where I made a huge mistake, and it really cost me a couple Pokemon, but in the long run, it really didn't matter. But anyways, let's just get this started. Alright, so now, he's gonna send out his Smeargle, which is his bro, and, um, I'm gonna send out my Espeon. It's also a shiny, because I had to show the shiny animation, but anyways, yes, here comes Espeon, and now, what happens here is I go for the sub, predicting Spore, and... Basically what he does is he predicts my sub and goes for the shift gear. And this is the first one I've ever seen a smear goal use shift gear. And I was thinking, oh, hey, that's not cool. So he goes for another shift gear. And I was like, okay, I have to do at least something. So I decide I'm going to put up a reflect, although I don't think that was the best move I could have done. I think I what I should have done is actually go for a psychic there, try and put some damage on this thing for it. Yeah, like that, but Tom passes. Because then I also have a sub that it would need to break, and then I can just, you know, set up the reflect later. But, I mean, that's just a small mistake, not a big deal. But anyways, I go for the Psychic. Yeah, one turn too late, but that's okay. And he's... Well, of course, he baton passes into his Latios, and I was thinking, huh, a physical Latios. And he goes for the Dragon Claw, gets a crit, although it doesn't matter because I have a sub. And I was like, huh, that sucks. So, I just... I end up going for the light screen anyways because of, you know, I had a free turn because of the sub. So, now I'm going to switch out in my Don Fan just to take the Dragon Claw because that's my only Pokemon that can take a plus two attack Dragon Claw from Eladios. And I have to say, it took it pretty well. It did a little less than half, which is, I mean, that's perfect for plus two. And it's also a life orb, so that's actually kind of crazy. Now, basically what I do is I try to go for an Ice Shard. I didn't want to predict, like, over predict and go for an earthquake here because, I mean, if he stayed in, then levitate would have happened, and I just, you know, went for the safe ice shard and it did a little bit to Smeargle, not too much. And I was thinking maybe because he went for the shift gear at the beginning of the battle that he actually doesn't have spores, so he actually goes for spore when I was going to try going for earthquake at this point, which was rather unfortunate, but uh, that happens. I mean, this Smeargle is definitely interesting. It has some weird, it has a weird move set, so that's why I was questioning if it had Spore or not. But now I'm gonna switch out, and I'm gonna go into my Dragonite because he's probably gonna go for another Shift Gear, which he does. Now I'm thinking, okay, um, I might as well try to set up on, uh, just set up on this thing try, so it can Patan pass away, get a free Dragon dra Dragon Dance up, and basically. Um, he goes into his Mammal Swine, and I was like, okay, Dragon Dance, that's good. Maybe, just maybe, I might be able to take it down in one hit. But that actually does not happen, because, you know, this is an Assault Vest, this is not Life Orb. And I was thinking, there's a chance that I could probably go for Fire Punch and take this thing down. He goes for the Icicle Crash, and it, he misses, thank gosh. But he ends up just hitting the second time, and I thought, maybe, maybe I could live. Because, you know, I am multi-scale. If I can live, I can get the Assault Vest, and that would just be overall just deadly to his team. And it shows he has another Life Orb Pokemon. I'm like, what? Who puts two Life Orb Pokemon on their team? But now I'm going to go to my Charizard Y. Although this was an awful move on my part, and I realized this after, after this turn, actually. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe, just maybe I could live in high school. Spear. Um, no, that's not going to happen. So he's gonna go for the Ice School Spear and take down uh, Ice School Crash. Sorry, and he's gonna take down my Charizard Y. And I just look back at that. I'm like, I am so dumb because I just wasted a good Pokemon there. So now, yes, he's gonna wipe himself down with Life Orb. I'm gonna go out to my Heatran just because you know if he gets hit with that Ice School Crash, it won't do too much because you know it's quad weak. And it does a little bit of damage, not too much. And Life Orb damage almost takes it down. And that was also a crit too, yeah, how lucky was he, but oh well. And now I'm gonna go for the Earth Power and take down the Mammal Swine. So the big threat is gone. But, 
That's not the end. <laughs> and you'll see why. Okay, so he's gonna send out his Obama, which is his tentacruel. And I'm gonna switch out going into my Gastrodon, thinking maybe he might go for the Scald. To, you know, do that Storm Drain. And he goes for Toxic Spikes. I'm like, eh, really? So, I mean, that's a good move and all, but it's really, it's not gonna do too much for you. Because I don't have some Pokemon, they won't, there's only like one Pokemon I can get poisoned in my party left. Well, actually two, if I switch out to Gastrodon, switch out from Gastrodon, but he goes for the knockoff, knock off my leftovers, and it's really, it's not that big of a deal because I have Recover, and then I go for a couple Earth Powers here, and it's, it's easily a three hit KO, but I don't know what he was thinking this third turn, I go for the Earth Power, because, well, he ends up going for the knockoff again, maybe it was just, just to, you know, get a free switch into something, probably that was the case. But, he gets a crit, yeah, two crits, I have none because of this battle, but oh well. Earth Power is going to take down the Tentacruel. Okay. So the next Pokemon he's going to send out is on guard, which is his, um, Pokemon here, Sword. I forgot what its name is, dang it. But anyways, it changes it into its blade form, I don't know how it was faster than me, because Gastrodon is pretty gosh darn slow. And I don't have any Eevees in the speed of this thing, but, I don't know. It was weird. But I go for the Earth Power, take him down because he did change into his offensive form. Oh wait, it was Hanage. That's that's what it's called. Okay. Now he's going to send out his Latios, and I'm thinking, gotta sack my Gastrodon. So he's going to go for an Earthquake, take down my Gastrodon. And now he, I'm going to send in uh, my Don fan. Yes, my Don fan. And I go, I'm, I am asleep, but since I've been, you know, like out out of battle for so long there's a chance I could wake up on the first turn and I did and I did quite a bit of damage to this Latios well he goes for the dragon dance he probably wasn't expecting me to go for um, at least wake up the first turn which that was pretty lucky on my part I would have to say but yeah I mean he got a couple of lucky hits on me I mean I get some luck sometimes but anyways I'm gonna go for the ice shard take down the Latios so now, let's see, his next Pokemon, I believe, is his Bro. And he has another move that I've never seen on a Smeargle before. Yeah. yeah that's right, he's going to out his Bro. Now, I'm going to go for Ice Shard, although I probably should have gone for the Earthquake. But, oh well. He, he's going to go for Quiver Dance. Yeah, Quiver Dance. And I know for what Pokemon, and that is his Mega Evolution Pokemon, which I predicted right at the beginning. And that is his Ampharos. And now, I don't know why I didn't go for Earthquake. It was, I don't know. I, maybe I misclicked, I don't remember. But the Ice Shard's going to take him down anyways before he can Baton Pass. So it really didn't matter in the long run. So now he's going to send out his last Pokemon, which is his Ampharos. And now, I'm at full HP, so that means I'm guaranteed the win here. Because if I just do one Earthquake, it's going to die anyways. So now, he's going to go into his Mega Ampharos. And he's going to go for the Dragon Pulse. Which, it almost brought me down to my sturdy, but it didn't. So even if it did, I mean, this is game anyways. But yes, it's going to go for Dragon Ball, so I think it left 53 damage. No, 37. I don't know, that wasn't even close. But, I'm going to go for Earthquake, take down the Ampharos, and that is game. So I believe that is a 3-0, a 3-0 win. And I just want to say good game to uh, Kotsos, I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. But anyways, he does have a YouTube channel, it's down in the comments below, not in the comments, the, in the description. He doesn't do any Let's Plays or anything, but I'm just putting it down there, just for his sake. But, anyways, if you enjoyed this match, please leave a like if you're subscribe, check out the inbox, and see you guys next time for some more Pokemon X and Y, Wi-Fi Battles.